for your contribution as always it is a pleasure to have you here welcome dear viewer to the zygon invasion review now this i've i i love the first four episodes of this series and i really wasn't that keen on the last two um but as i've said as i always start off with my reviews reviews are subjective um, and so I've had people, I've, I've seen people in the chat up here say that this is the greatest series they've ever seen. I've had people say this is the best seat, seat, seat six episodes that they've ever seen in a row. I've had some people see, say on my YouTube comment section that they're never watching Doctor Who again because of different things that have happened. So um, your, war, your, your warning, of course, is that um, reviews are subjective. Feel free to agree with me or disagree with me. Just try not to call me a cock in the process. Here, of course, is our picture to uh, sum up um, the events of... of of, of last night. Thank you very much, Google, for producing that exciting image for me. Now, um, Zygon. I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the, with the things I like because there, there was a lot of things I liked about about last night. Um, it was uh, we've had a lot of new enemies um, over the last uh, four episodes, which is only two stories, but four episodes. You know, we haven't had those crazy things with the, the those really lizard things before. We haven't had the uh, Leonardo from Leopold, whatever it was, uh, before. We haven't had those kind of ghost creatures before. We haven't had the uh, what was the creature called with the, the the thing that came over the top that was in the in the the coffin thing for 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 a gazillion years? I can't remember the Inquisitor or something like that. We had lots of new enemies, so it was time to go back to a classic. Um, so we went back um, to um, the Zygons, who we hadn't seen since the fifth anniversary. And what was really nice about this episode was the opening, where they really nicely linked together um, the events that happened in the fiftieth. With, with with some nice little crowd pleasing shots of Tenon and 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 Smith and um, oh I forgot the actor's name but you know the War Doctor and um, which, and they li really nicely linked together um, the um, what happened then into what they're about to show us and of course they brought back Osgood now unfortunately I did know Osgood was coming back I didn't want to but it's been it's impossible to avoid some of these spoilers and I'm, I'm not going to have another big spoiler rant because I you know if you'd like to see my spoiler rants please see the rest of my reviews um but I did know Osgood was coming back um and um but I, I was kind of hoping that it wasn't just going to be like a timey-wimey oh you're dead but now you're not and they didn't they did something a lot more interesting which was that that she was the other Osgood whether the Zygon, whether the human, we will never, we will never know. But I really like that, and the setup was good, and it linked really nicely. I felt with what they did last week with, um, with Lady Me when she was kind of talking about, uh, you know, Doctor, you come in here and, and you do your stuff, and then you fly off, and you never really matter. You never really think about what's kind of left behind. And I don't know if it was deliberate, but obviously this this episode here was kind of like a a follow-up to what happened to the people left behind. So in the 50th anniversary, the Doctor, rather than rather than destroying the, the Zygons or rather than destroying the humans, he decided to kind of force them to talk it out and force them to kind of come up with some sort of peace treaty. Um, and this is what happened as a result. Um, the integration of, of aliens into kind of human society and then um, it's kind of kicked off badly due, due to the actions of, of, of some kind of rebel. So that was a really, really nice setup. Um, and... Um, it was a, it was very much kind of like a military Doctor Who episode, and I think they're almost like a bit of a kind of subgenre in themselves because when the uh, when the military's around with the Doctor, you you get a very different feel. You know, you have unit around, and you have either the Brigadier or the Brigadier's daughter, or you know, lots of kind of very official, very official people kind of saying, "Yes, well, we need to do this, we must do that," and then they nearly always get things horribly wrong or 
get in the way of the eventual solution. It, it seems to be the military's job to just generally kind of stop the Doctor from saving the day. I mean, I've watched quite a few kind of classic episodes now, and, he, and he, even the Brigadier, who's supposed to be the Doctor's friend, often seems to go, well, Doctor, we'll have to blow the whole thing up. And the Doctor's like, no, 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 don't do it. Well, orders are orders, Doctor. And there's, there's lots and lots of that. And um, and, and the military-style episodes tend to have lots of kind of jumping into jeeps, or in this case, kind of planes, and travelling from place to place, and lots of communications, and saying, oh, bravo, whatever, this and that, and so on. And, so on. and, um, and, and, uh, it, it works nicely. It was nice little kind of throwbacks to the the unit stuff back where we had um, oh, kind of the episodes now with with Martha and the Sontarans, and it's nice because it, it 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 shows that the world of Doctor Who again is larger than just the Doctor. There's the people he has an effect on, but there's also the country as well. Um, and now the country is aware of aliens within the thing, and the, and when. When aliens attack, you know, unit gets involved or Torchwood gets involved, and you know, it makes it makes the world of Doctor Who bigger than just what kind of goes on in the TARDIS, and um, it kind of helps to add to that kind of um, realism as well. Like, 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 you know, if the world knew that they might be attacked by aliens, and if the world knew that alien invasions had been stopped by the past, what would they actually do? And of course, they would set up something like Unit, and they would have various kind of frequencies where they could kind of call people, and they would have sort of um, you know, secret kind of communications and things. So it kind of just, it helps to kind of immerse you in that world and th this kind of military style um, episodes, which do, which come up, you know, maybe once every other series or, 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 or maybe more regularly in that, you know, nicely kind of plop you into that, um, plop you nicely into that kind of world, um, uh, which is nice. And the, and the plot line moved along quickly. It was a very kind of action based um, episode, lots of kind of tension here or there with various kind of reveals along the way, such as the, uh, um, the evil, the evil Clara. And, um, I, I could see, uh, uh, quite a few people in the comments here have kind of talked about, um, liking the reveal on Clara. Um, she plays the heat. She plays the heel very well. I think she, she's uh, um, quite scary, quite cold, um, in her, in her expressions. Um, I didn't actually see her coming as a Zygon. I was convinced it was the other one. I actually said to Clara halfway through, my 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 Clary, I actually I, I turned around and I kind of said, well, obviously that other one's going to be a be a um, a Zygon, and I was wrong. It, it it was Clara. But if I'd thought about it, then I might have I might have got it. Um, random actress choices for random things you're going to pick out of. Um, I could be wrong on this, but I'm I was convinced all the way through that the the lady that Clara hang out hung out with for most of the episode, the kind of I don't know if it's mixed race lady, but she looked kind of I'm not sure what kind of race she was, but I was sure she was also the mum in um, Fear Her. Do you remember that one, the Tenant episode with the girl that draws the drawings? Do you remember there was a mum and they kind of sung the Kookaburra song, laugh, Kookaburra laugh. And um, I'm pretty sure that's the same actress. Um, so either it's the same character who's moved from Cardiff and now works for Unit, or they've just run out of actresses, or something, which it seems a very bizarre choice to me. To, to to reuse people, um, but I could be wrong. It might be a completely different actress, in which case I'm, I, I will shout up. But I I, um, I I thought it was, I thought it was. I'll, I'll have to look up the um, I'll have to look up the. So someone Google it and look up the actress names for me. Otherwise, otherwise I'm just um, spotting random people. Although I did I did have a I did have an argument with with well not an argument but uh, Claire was like no it's not and then I was like is it is and then she was like no it's not and then she looked and she was like oh maybe it is. Um anyway um. Here's my issue with last night. It was very clearly a massive allegory or metaphor, or I don't know. I'm, I'm sure my English teacher friends will 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 correct me on here. It was clearly intended to have a really big parallel with modern day events in terms of immigration, ISIS, terrorism, radicalization, and and others. And it made me feel very, very, very uncomfortable. Like basically kind of seeing real life serious events kind of played out in an entertainment show for entertainment. Um, and I'm sure you can kind of do the list yourselves, but there was things like the, um, a discussion about how one Zygon could radicalize others, which is obviously very, very similar to what kind of happens with, um, uh, kind of like extremist terrorist factions. You had that kind of link to 
Uh, you had a, a video sent where they executed two Zygons, which was, I mean, that was the bit that really made me go, really? Because obviously, you know, there have been horrible videos that appeared on kind of, of on Facebook and things like that of like real life hostages being executed in in grotesque ways. And there was, there was kind of Doctor Who kind of, kind of doing it. Um, and, um, and, and, and so on and so forth. There's even discussions on the benefit system. They, they're kind of linked to kind of immigration and things. And I was talking, I was talking about this with my, um, uh, with my with my stepmom earlier, and she was kind of saying, "Well, well, Doctor Who's always done social commentary. Doctor Who's always kind of, you know, kind of put parallels in and, and kind of shown tried to hold a kind of mirror back up to society." And, and so I had to kind of stop and kind of go, "Am I?" Because my, my, my first thought was, "Why well, this is entertainment? And why are they kind of putting this into this into into this?" Like I'm I'm sitting here for a kind of escapism, and I want to enjoy this episode. And what it's actually making me do is is feel very very uncomfortable. And then. You know, she kind of mentioned that to me earlier today, and I kind of thought, well, actually, no, maybe, maybe it's maybe, maybe I'm being unfair. Maybe it's it's choosing to kind of hold a mirror back up to society and 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 make a point and draw a lesson or get us to look at things from another way. Um, and um, I mean, I, I read a lot of Terry Pratchett novels, and Terry Pratchett always um, has parallels to real life worlds in his fantasy worlds, and so he has like you know, a, a thieves guild and a, and a, and a patrician character and a, and a, you know, and, and he, he, it's all about kind of satire and he kind of, he kind of shows you real life things through a, through a slightly jokey lens. And so you kind of enjoy it and you kind of recognize things and you kind of think about things. And then, and then there's kind of movies that try to challenge your perceptions of, of things that you um, did before, or, or you kind of thought before, or try to raise your awareness of things. Um, but I don't really see what this Doctor Who episode was kind of aiming for it in that. So, so I've kind of, so I've kind of considered this. I kind of thought, well, you know, you know, because because Star Trek, for example, often has um, some social commentary in some of its episodes. Not, not the ones where the aliens are blasting each other to bits and things, but you know, sometimes they'll come across to an alien race, and that alien race will be doing something that kind of makes you think about a certain issue, which is really here. For example, there, I remember there was one episode of the Next Generation where they go to some planet and they have forced euthanasia when people hit 65 or something like that to deal with a massive over over crowding um issue um you know and it was kind of then there was like a big then kind of discussion about whether you know euthanasia they didn't i don't think they called it euthanasia but it was you know it was then a, there was a discussion about overcrowding and how you deal with overcrowding and a discussion about kind of ending people's lives prematurely and yada 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 and i think there was an example of a, of a show a sci-fi show kind of raising an issue and um making you think about it. But I feel last night that that didn't, it didn't feel to me last night that they were trying to satire the current ISIS and um, immigration and extremism issues. It didn't feel to me like they were trying to make a point and kind of say, you know, Hey guys, you know, there's this immigration thing going on, but remember they're people too. That, that wasn't the message of last night's thing. Um, you know, and there didn't seem to be like a kind of, um, you know, let's hold a mirror up to society and kind of, you know, let you kind of see yourselves thing here because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the message I got from from last night was fear the alien because they're trying to kill you and watch out for the people that come into your town, truth or consequences, blah, 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 who don't have jobs and don't have money and don't have things to do because sooner or later they will wipe out your town. And, you know, all of the messages that came through the episode seem to actually be reinforcing the the negative stereotypes which a lot of people kind of are, are worried about and are trying to kind of get rid of. So rather than it kind of being like a kind of a, an, un uh, an eye opening, oh, yeah, I should probably think about my attitudes to that. It more made you made as the viewer, it kind of more maybe kind of go, yeah, bloody extremists that, you know, taking our jobs and they're making me fearful of every, do you know what I mean? Like that's, that's why the tone felt wrong in the episode. I mean, and, and I, I, I kind of, you know, I kept, kept trying to think, you know, am I, am I being too, worried about the, you know, am I kind of judging this episode wrongly? And I kind of thought, no, if it was trying to hold them, if it was trying to make a point about these issues, I would, I would go, well, that was a bit deep, but yeah, I see where they're going with it. Or if it was kind of sat, you know, kind of a satirical look at it, I'd be like, oh, well, they're kind of trying to draw humor out of the absurdity of this kind of situation. But it actually just seemed to actually be saying, watch out. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because because the aliens are coming to get you. Now, of course, it is only the first half of the story, and I can see that Speaks is just going to say that there. But nevertheless, they've given me a week now to kind of go, yeah, stereotypes. I mean, 
if it had been done in an hour and the message by the end of the hour was kind of saying, I mean, I'm reviewing this episode, this now. I'm not reviewing it after two hours. And you, I think, I don't think you can, you can just kind of say, well, you know, wait, wait till next week, you know, because it already exists now as like a single episode. And I have to say, about halfway through the episode, I actually thought, I want to turn this off um, because the messages it was giving me were unpleasant and the allegory, the comparisons it had to real life were unsettling. Um, and I didn't turn it off. Um, and, and as the episode kind of went on, it kind of moved a little bit away from those themes and then kind of went more back into kind of a traditional kind of Doctor Who adventure. And, you know, by the end you had, you know, Clara Bing as I gone and it, it had kind of gone back more sci-fi, but I, I just felt that the, the messages contained in it were unpleasant. And I mean, Tiny's used the phrase here, the tone was wrong. And I think I agree. I mean, the thing is we might get to the end of next week's episode and they might, kind of, it might kind of switch back. You know, we might have a load of scared Zygons there being like, Oh, and the messages there might be then from the doctor, you know, Hey guys, you know, be careful because you know, Zygons are people too. Or, you know, if that's not like a, that's not like I'm going to mess up. And so I, I, I've been kind of pondering this kind of review all day and how to do it, because, you know, if you look at the formula of this episode, it's good. It's a good episode. You know, it, it, it it's fast paced. You've got returning characters. You've got some good tense moments. You've got, you know, the, it's they're jetted all over the world, allegedly. Um, and, you know, you've got scary enemies and all these kind of things. And so, so, you know, if, if I take out the allegory thing, I should really be, you know, very positive about this episode and just kind of saying, you know, it was a fun adventure romp, but I can't, miss the fact that and I, I kind of get the impression that, you know, someone was kind of watching the news and kind of going, Oh man, you know, that ISIS situation is terrible. Better write this episode of Dr. Who hang on. And there's, you know, John, Ma you know, Ian Malcolm in Jurassic park and they, him, Ian Malcolm and, and John Hammond, in the first Jurassic Park movie, for almost the whole first half of the movie, are having an argument about whether you should create dinosaurs, interfere with nature. And there was this, there's a lovely line from Ian Malcolm, played by Jeff Goldblum, where he, he, he turns to John, John Goldblum and he, he kind of said, yeah, 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 but your scientists were so busy thinking about whether they could, they didn't stop to think about whether they should. And I, I think that's my feeling about last night's episode on, on Doctor Who, is that, they obviously, to a, for me, it feels obviously that they, they decided that they could do this kind of comparison, this kind of little bit close to the bone discussion, adventure. And they could do it, but I don't think that they should. It would be different if this was something that had happened a while ago. You know, if this was like a, a discussion of the Iraq war, you know, 10, 15 years ago, um, you know, looking back at something. But, you know, there are people kidnapped by ISIS right now. And, you know, a, an execution video could come out tomorrow. And Doctor Who kind of turned that into a adventure thing last night. And it's weird because if you think about the last year, they took out a kind of, ex they took out a beheading scene in response to real life events. And then it feels like this year they seem to have kind of gone, Hey, let's make an episode based around real life events. Now there will be other people sitting there kind of going, and there's probably some on the comments here. There'll be other people kind of sitting there going, well, actually, no, no, no. Sci-fi always does a really, really good job of, of portraying real life events. And, you know, this story may, may yet go somewhere else. And maybe it's not up to Dr. Who to kind of make judgments about things. Maybe it's just a case of, you know, holding up that mirror and saying, you know, look, here is the, um, here is the situation. Um, but you know what, if I wanted to know the situation, I'd, I'd watch the news. And it's very, very hard to just kind of show a situation without kind of passing on a message. And I think there was a message last night and the message was fear the alien. And that deeply disturbs me. And I actually considered messaging Pete or, or and Susan and Lee last night saying, you know, I don't, I'm really uncomfortable with the content of that episode. I, I've softened on it a little bit since because 
you know, like I said, there's various people who have kind of spoken to me and kind of said, you know, sci-fi does have this kind of comparisons and that's fine. And I'm not sure I stand on it. I, I, I don't think I've ever, ever thought I want to turn this off with an episode of Doctor Who before. Um, I mean, there was even a line about benefits. I might have even said that earlier in this review. I'm sorry, but there was, there was just, it was, it was one of the things, you, just when you kind of think, okay, that's enough, let's not do another line about that, but then they threw in another line. Do you know what I mean? Um, and John Seaver above me has just said, well, Star Trek did that, took current events and took current events and turned it to see what could happen. Well, the implication from Doctor Who last night seems to be, well, what could happen is a civil war, which is not great. Um, so I don't know, you know, feel free to come at me, you know, and, you know, chat about it in the chat and, you know, put comments on YouTube and, 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 and things like that. It, it was uh, taken on its own merit. Like I said, it was a good Doctor Who adventure. There was some nice little, you know, Doctor Who on the guitar is cool. They didn't use the sonic sunglasses. Clara turning was cool. There was some nice use of the kind of sets and kind of suspense things. The, the Saigon costumes are wonderfully ridiculous with kind of suckers and things. The Osgood stuff was, it was nice to kind of see her back. I really liked the conversation with Doctor and Osgood, you know, which one are you? Um, you know, there's some really, really good stuff here, but the stuff they were portraying is deadly and real. And that's not entertaining. Yeah. <sighs>